Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. We're going to go and show you how to calculate the mean, median, and mode in Power BI. You can see they're color coded here, yellow, green, and red, or kind of like a pinkish red. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. So quick, let's go over here. You go under your data. In this case, this is final grades for Psych 115 or 115 from a local university. And they've got sessions 1 through like 15 or something like that, student count and the test scores, paper scores, stuff like that. And they want to get the mean, median mode of this. So you would go over here, you would right click on this, and you would select new measure. I've already got it done for you, so you don't have to recreate them. So I'm just going to click on the average, because that one's first. And the reason why it says average here is mean and average are the exact same thing. It doesn't matter. So you can call it mean, you can call it average in here. I just renamed it to mean. That's fine. It doesn't matter. And it's the average of student grades, which is the um, name of the table and the column is final grade that we're using. So uh, that's how we get the average. And then I just bring that in here and I would put it into this table just like that. Okay, right there, the mean of the average final grade. And then if I close this out, the next one is the median. So I'll show you that now. And that's right here. It's just calculate median versus calculate average. Okay, of the same thing that the, the table and the column name. So and then you put that in there and bring that across. And that goes into your table just like this. Now I'll show you how to color code later, but next let's show you. So those two are pretty simple. It's just calculate the average and calculate the uh, median. But next is the uh, mode. So when we look at average, it's going to be your average of the group. Median is going to be the middle number. And then mode is how many times it occurred, right? Which one was the most popular? So when we look at mode, it's a different calculation, much tougher or, or more arduous might be the right way to say it. So basically what you've got to do is you've got to create a table called per class is what we have here because we're using class, which is the sessions 1 through 15 or whatever. And you're going to calculate a table where you're going to put the count of these rows of that uh, table in it. And so that's where you put add columns, distinct student grades, fall 2019 of the class which is this column here okay all except then you got the table and the table with the column okay of class because we're using class then you got return min x minimum of x um, top n one per class because that's what we want is one the frequency descending because we always we also use frequency up here make sure those match okay and then the average final grade now for this last one here, the average final grade, I could have used class in here, and then all that would do is put session 1, session 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth here. Instead, by using final grade, it mimics the average, the mean, all the way down. That's what the mode is doing here. And the reason being is it's because there's only one instance of it. Now, yes, I know inside that session there are 19 students here, and there's 28 in this one and 21 in this one, but our data is only at one row per session so I don't have any other thing else I can do with that here so maybe in the future I'll do another one where I'll show you the mode on some better data with uh, you know maybe the actual teachers or students you know in a row for each student and then you'll see how the mode works better with that but this is the actual code that you would use in Power BI to get the mode and you can go and snapshot this and put it up to the right corner or whatever and type that in and, and you know same thing insert a new measure so if I close out all you would be doing is here right click new measure and then build your measure um, that's what you need for these and uh, the only other thing is so when you're looking at these see I have them as yellow green and red all you have to do for any column that you want to do this for you once you have it in your table here which is what I have right here you would go down here and select this and you're going to do conditional formatting background color and then what I did here is instead of usually you would have two you'd have a minimum range and a maximum range in this case I made them all the same so that means that whole column is this color of yellow and I could pick any color I want you know to be that you know the high and the low and it does that that's how I did that for each of these three to kind of highlight them and then above you can see a comparison of the mean median and mode now when you look at this the mode is right here it's the same as the average so it covers it up so you don't really even see so you see the key right here has average in it it's got the exact same measure or the value as the mode so the mode is hiding it it's right below it 
But so the key takeaway here is when you look at the median, the median has highs and lows. It has outliers compared to the average. See how they're below and above and below and above and below and above and below. Okay, but it still follows the same, you know, path. It's just it's a little bit. It's not quite the average, and that's what I was trying to tell you earlier: is that the mean, or the mean and the median are not the same. One is the average, kind of like a weighted average, and the other one is the exact middle, which may not necessarily be the average. So, friends, if you have a lot of values above it, it's going to skew it up. And if you have a lot of values below it, it's going to skew it skew it down, as you can see here. It's important to know the distinction between those two when you're working on financial data. Um, or just data in general as a data analyst or a data scientist. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and informational. It's a great way to go and quickly do, start building you know, averages, means, medians, and even the mode for your data if you want. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, and have a great day. Thanks.